I think what Hawthorne shows us is the depth to which these two possibilities, jollity and gloom, go to our native grain, the core of our native grain. This is not a problem that we got rid of, mm -hmm. either fictionally or historically. You think Woodstock and you think the rise of evangelical uh, religions. You think uh, the hippies versus the establishment. I mean, the caricatures that we get or the satires that we get, they abound. Mm -hmm. And they're still here. And the tensions that exist. And to find some way of living with both of those things, he's providing us with one way of doing so. And he's embracing, it seems to me, the alternative of marriage based on freedom and love within a religious community or within some kind of religion. But I think that what's really important is to see that we, each of us, have to negotiate those tensions. So, so that the utopianism is present among the Puritans as it is among mm -hmm. the Marymounters. And in that sense, uh, they, they both show elements of the American yeah. kind of aspiration. Let's just start over. Yeah. Let's make it the way we want it to be. Mm -hmm. And so it, it does seem to me that Hawthorne is also a critic of that sort of utopian strand exactly. within, within mm -hmm. America. Both escape to the forest right. for reasons yeah. that aren't as different as they think they are. That's exactly right. Uh, so in that sense, both need the family to be reminded of what it is they think they can change but can't. The, the acknowledgment that human nature um, has to be taken as it is and refined and not simply um, deformed in the name of some or ideology reformed. or creed. Right, or mm -hmm. And that life in its concreteness with uh, some of its uh, sort of fundamental passions um, have to be honored if you're going mm -hmm. to have a community that isn't going to um, maim the human beings who live among them.